Hey everyone, I'm Andy, and I'm here outside with me, the Husky, Porter, the Chihuahua, Pody Dog, and today we're talking about our foster, ex-foster, Sappy, aka Izzy, and everybody's running away from me. We're kind of doing a weird one here today, I'm gonna just, I have Sappy clips, I kind of lost the audio to, and um... So yeah, I'll just be voicing it over. I'm also just using my phone. I usually use like an actual microphone, <laughs> but here we go. So I'm, so I'm a bit late on this one. Izzy came to us for just a little bit of a visit like about a week ago. Um, she had her leg amputated like a few days before and it was healing pretty well at this point. So she could hop around quite safely. She was on pain meds and such still, of course. Unfortunately, so if you remember, she was going through a little bit of a drama with the vet. The vet suggested euthanizing her and, you know, all of that stuff happened. Well, the drama didn't end there. It escalated a little bit uh, when, so after Izzy got her leg amputated, she spent the night at the, you know, that vet clinic that she was at and she went home the next day. Now, that vet clinic, after everything that happened initially with, you know, her leg being necrotic and, you know, and the whole suggestion to euthanize, the clinic offered to do all of their services for free, which was, you know, it's great. Uh, my wife was out of town too, so she wouldn't have been able to do anything. And yeah, well, anyway, Izzy got her leg amputated and she spent the night at the clinic. Then the next day when Izzy went home with her mom, Nikki, uh, within an hour, Izzy became unresponsive and had to be rushed to an emergency vet hospital in town. They realized Izzy had too much anesthetic in her. They didn't know which anesthesia, whatever medicine, drug that they used, that the uh, original vet clinic used. So that took them a while to figure that out. But as you can see, they did figure it out eventually. And after an, an another overnight stay, Izzy, you know, went home in the morning and she's been fine since. But unfortunately, after this whole ordeal, when Nikki went to ask the other vet about, you know, if they could pay because they said they're covering all costs, uh, the original vet said no. So she asked if they would pay the, the emergency costs, right? They said no, because it wasn't their clinic and all that stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so she got stuck with yet another high bill for Izzy. And uh, yeah, we have a very serious issue with vets in this town. Well, there are very, very few vets in this town. And because of that, there's very little competition. It's hard to even get into one. If you are a new uh, customer, you can't even get into a vet. It's, uh, it's a very unfortunate situation. And because they just don't pay enough, most of them anyway, they just aren't attracting new people to the city. Plus the city is just kind of a dead end, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's a really unfortunate situation. And Nikki is going to do some, or, you know, she submitted like a, a complaint to the high, you know, like the higher ups of whoever owns the place. But yeah, there's really no recourse realistically in this situation because the truth is we need vets here. And I don't think, you know, if you get rid of a vet when you already don't have any vets, then... Yeah, but yeah, that, I guess that goes kind of beyond the scope of this video. It's a very major issue in our town. But uh, the plus side is Izzy has she's getting around quite well, actually. She's <laughs> she's still full of fire. I really never had any doubt that she would have issues moving to, with <clears throat> moving with three legs. Uh, she was very happy to see me. I spent a good hour or so just patting her and giving her kisses and just feeling really sad because I <laughs> I <laughs> really miss her still and uh yeah but I I'm happy I'm happy everything did work out I'm extremely frustrated about the situation with the vets and no doubt uh Nikki is as well but yeah the plus side is Izzy's alive and we can we get to see her we get to <laughs> get to touch her and yeah, hopefully if we uh, we see her again, you know, 
whenever we have a visit with her, I'll make sure to make a video about it, of course. <laughs> but until then, I hope you all have a great day. And take care.